in the blessing the biggest issue that i have is that this hero is extremely easy to dispel which means that if she ever becomes an issue or a problem you Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on the Snake Charmer, Marie Therese. Therese? Something like that. I'm sure you'll correct me in the comments. She deals 774 on her attack, 723 on her defense, and 1301 on her health. Statistically, a little bit above average on her attack. Defensively, health total, about average there. She is running at slow speed. She is part of the Pirates of Corellia event, which means she gives you a bonus. Two, three, four, five heroes, anywhere between 3%, 15% attack, anywhere between 2% and 12% mana generation. As far as her special abilities, she deals 168% damage to all enemies. All allies regenerate 612 HP over four turns. All allies get plus 30% defense for four turns. All allies receive a zombie blessing. If the blessed hero dies in the next four turns, they will be reborn as a zombie with 100% health, 500% attack, or just 500 attack, 500 defense, special skill, poison bite. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 100,000 silver and one free champion, Accolade. It's only available for the next 30 days and for new players, all your treasure, it's waiting for you right over here. So, I will admit when this hero first came out, I wasn't really that stoked on her. Uh, but I think that she, she definitely requires uh, some finesse. Uh, you're not seeing her too, too much. I don't know if we'll ever see a resurgence of seeing her on defense or on the playing field. I think definitely one of those under the radar type heroes, but I still think has a lot of potential. So she is dealing damage at the 168% and then also regenerating and then giving uh, the defense and then also giving the blessing. The biggest issue that I have is that this hero is extremely easy to dispel which means that if she ever becomes an issue or a problem, you can dispel her and just about every single uh, color has dispelling abilities. So that's her biggest issue. She's way too contingent upon her going off. Very simply, you just wait till she goes off and then you just dispel everything. But if you don't, if you're not expecting her, she can be quite annoying. That is 100% true. She is a monk class hero, which means that she's battling it out with the likes of like June, Drake Fong, also Jabberwock, uh, so some other heroes, also some really important Titan heroes in the four stars. Maybe you have some emblems for her. When we look at her Titan grade, she is going to get a B plus grade as far as her Titan goes. Reason being is she's got the 774% attack. That's potentially the only spot that I would see putting her in is going to be your high tile damage slot. If you throw some emblems on her, she could definitely fit into that. So as far as what she does, her hero special abilities aren't that great against the Titan. Uh, the only reason why she got a boost there was because she has a decent attack power, that's for sure. Uh, she's only going to fit there. That's about it. When we look at her offensively, this is... She did get upgrade. She is at an A-, minus, potentially to go up. Uh, I know probably some people that have her are going to argue how amazing she is on offense. And I could see that especially because she's she's regenerating and even if your guys die they're coming back so i can see a, a constant flow of people coming back especially on offense uh her biggest ding is being at slow speed but i think you could get around it she is a really solid hero on offense i could see a lot of people using her she is going to get an a minus grade there uh when we look at her defensively she is going to get a b plus grade as far as the tank grade goes 
Again, what is talked about in the very beginning, if she ever becomes a real problem, she can easily be dispelled because everything she does is going to positively impact all of her heroes. And she doesn't have that clause of can't be dispelled. So I have seen her go off and I'm like, all right, that's kind of annoying. Dispel, I don't really care. And then just kill you because you're at slow speed. So, but if she goes unexpected, then she becomes a lot more of a nuisance. So she is, she is best suited in the tank position, obviously because she's regenerating health. And then if anything dies, they're going to be reborn. The only issue is, is that if she's best suited there, you can really go against her. And then that becomes a problem. She is going to get a B plus for a tank. When we take a look at her flank grade, she is going to get a B minus grade there. Uh, she is usable in the flank potentially. Uh, again, this could be where she shines a little bit. The only issue is, is when you have a hero that is specifically designed to go off before your heroes die, uh, you want to have that hero more in the tank position because you want to exploit their special ability on everybody. With you having her in the flank, you're probably think your, your, your tank is probably dead by the time she goes off. And then she goes off and she helps and gives the blessing to four different heroes. It's very rare that a slow hero is going to go off before either the tank dies or before the, the wing is going off and stuff like that. It's very hard for a hero that is at slow speed going in the flank position that impacts all of your board positively. So she definitely gets a ding for that for B minus, but I think that that's potentially the best place for her on defense if you're gonna kind of surprise the other party. When we look at her wing grade, she is gonna get a C grade there. Obviously, it goes without saying that probably your heroes are dead at that point. With her being at slow speed, I'm not a big fan of putting her in the wing. So defensively, she is going to still get a B plus grade. The reason being is because there is a flexibility between the tank and the flank. Uh, I think that if she stays underrated as it is, I think that she's very suitable in the, in the tank position. Uh, she could be used in the flank position, but she does get dinged a little bit. Uh, when we look at her weekly raid grade, she is going to get an A plus on rush attack. Obviously, with her now running at very fast speed, she's dealing damage. She's also regenerating, and she's setting up the blessing, which is pretty amazing. Uh, I will say that uh, the blessing can't be done on the zombie again, so you can't keep on reviving your own zombies. Uh, but regardless, it's still pretty amazing. Uh, actually, actually, I don't know the blessing. Let me know in the comments. Does the blessing work? If the zombie dies too, can you, can you re-bless the zombie? Pretty amazing. Uh, but she is going to get an A plus grade on her rush attack. Uh, and then when we look at her buff grade, she is going to get an A grade. I really like that she gives defense to all your guys. And then you're also regenerating. The issue is, is that she's running at slow speed. But I think that she could be definitely super annoying to be going off. And then she's also helping out in the uh, the buff with the defense. And then when we look at her bloody battle grade, she's obviously going to get a D grade there. Being at slow speed, you can't regenerate and you can't give any zombies. So the only thing she's doing at slow speed is 168% damage. And then the 30% defense at slow speed, don't do that. Really awful idea to put her in. D grade there. She is going to get an overall grade of a B plus. I could potentially see this flexing into an A minus possibly, but I think that B plus is, is, is pretty solid with her running it slow. I think that there's a lot of other heroes that do a lot of other stuff that are at different ranges that might be a little bit better, but I still think she's kind of one of those cool little niche heroes that could be fun. So thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, you turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video.